Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at steps to enable, create, recover and disable System Restore on Windows 11 and on Windows 10. System Restore is available on virtually any supported version of Windows and allows you to create a copy of the system state as a restore point to, pro to protect the hard drive's data, but no personal files. I will explain this in a little bit. System Restore used to be enabled by default to create restore points automatically when Windows detected system changes, such as installing a new update or a driver, but that's no longer the case. As such, it is important to configure this feature as soon as possible. If something happens, you can use System Restore to recover the system to the last known good working state by applying one of the available restore points. You can think about this feature as an option to undo system changes. Also, when using this feature, your files won't be affected. However, it is important to know that this feature isn't a backup replacement. If you delete a file, you won't be able to recover it with a restore point. Also, a restore point will remove settings in apps that were configured or installed after the restore point was created, which makes sense because we want to undo system changes. Also, even though I said that this is not a backup solution, the only exception is that you can use this option to create a backup of the registry. Let's dive into the steps to configure System Restore on Windows 11 and on Windows 10. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will open the channel and support my work. Okay, first we're going to look at the steps to enable System Restore on Windows. And to do that, open Start and look for Create a restore point from the result, click this option. Then select the system drive, which is usually the C drive, and you're going to see the protection is probably turned off. So select the drive and click the configure button. Then check the turn on system protection option. You can also specify the space usage for system restore. Usually the default settings are best for most users, but you can always change that if you have enough space on the computer. Then click Apply, and then click OK, and then click OK. We have enabled System Restore. We can proceed to create a restore point. And to do that, open Start and look for Create a Restore Point and click the top result. Then select the system drive and click the Create button. In here, use a descriptive name. For example, before making changes to the registry and click the create button. And that's it. That's all it takes to create a restore point manually. Now, since system restore is turned on on the computer, now the system can also create restore points automatically on certain events, but you shouldn't rely on them. Just make sure that whenever you're going to make changes to the computer or you're about to make a significant installation or change, make sure to create a restore point manually. Once you're done creating the restore point, just click the OK button. Now to recover Windows 11 or Windows 10 using a restore point, you have two options. You can do that from the desktop if you're able to get to the desktop or you can use the Windows Recovery Environment or WinRE. And I'm going to show you the two different ways. First, we're going to open Start Menu and look for Create a Restore Point and choose the top result. Then under System Restore, just click the System Restore button. Click Next. And as you can see, we have the available restore points. And as you can see, the type is manual. And here on the description, we can see the name that we used for the specific restore point. And that's where it's important because if you have multiple restore points, it's easier to identify. You also have the date and time on when this was created. From here, you can also click the Scan Affected Programs button. And this option will scan the system and it will let you know the apps that are going to get deleted through this action. Then click Next, and then click the Finish button. Make sure to understand that you cannot interrupt this action, and 
you cannot undo this action. So once you're ready, just click the yes button. During this process, the computer is going to restart in order to apply the new changes. And this process might take some time. Now, if the computer is having issues and you cannot send it to your account and you can't get to the desktop, you can still use the restore point. You can still use system restore to use a restore point to recover your computer. And for that, you will need to access the Windows recovery environment or WinRE. There are different ways that you can access those settings. However, if you can boot your computer, the easiest way is to reboot, is to force shut down your computer three times to trigger the computer to start automatically on the recovery environment. And to do that, assuming that your PC is turned off, power the computer, press the power button on the computer, and once you see the Windows logo, press and hold the power button until the computer shuts off automatically. Repeat the same steps, then turn on and turn off the computer again in the same way two or three times. And then the computer will automatically start on the Windows recovery environment. After you fail to start the computer multiple times, the automatic repair environment is going to launch. And from here, click the Advanced Options button, then go to Troubleshoot, and then click on Advanced Options. From here, you can see that we have the option for system restore and that's the option that we're going to click on and then just click the next button from here we can see that we have the restore point that we created manually you can also click the scan for affected programs so you know the apps that are going to get removed through this process and any changes that you made after the restore point was created those also will be deleted your files will be kept on the computer, but if you deleted any of the files manually on the computer, you won't be able to restore them through this process because this is not a backup solution. And then click Next, and then click the Finish button. Once the system completed restoring the computer, the device is going to reboot automatically. And this action might take several minutes. If for some reason you need to disable this feature, just open Start and look for Create Restore Point and click the top result. Then select the drive with the protection turned on that you want to disable and then click the Configure button. From here, check the Disable System Protection option and then click the Apply button. Because you're turning off the, the feature, all the restore points are going to be deleted and you cannot undo this change. Once you're ready, click Yes and then click the OK button. And that is all there is to it. There is one thing that I wanted to mention about System Restore is that you have to enable the feature on each of individual drives. However, most of the time, you're only going to use System Restore for the system drive, which is the C that includes the installation of Windows. That's how you manage System Restore on Windows 11, and you can also use these instructions on Windows 10. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.